Hello guys, so it is Vlogmas day one of December 2018 and I'm gonna actually do Vlogmas a little bit different this year um, so I'm still deciding whether or not I want to upload videos every day on YouTube or if I just want to post stories on my personal Instagram account for my friends to view so I'm still debating on that. Um, I think the ones for YouTube though, if I do decide to go with that or do both or something like that, I am going to keep the YouTube ones like under 10 minutes at least, uh, minimum 5 minutes. So this is a quick introduction for Vlogmas. Um, I'm actually heading out to the Holiday Expo that's uh, downtown um, because we volunteered at the Calgary Expo a few months ago in April. Um, Benefits include um, getting free uh, free tickets for the Holiday Expo. So I've already printed mine. Um, I'm just waiting for Dan to get his and then uh, we're gonna head off to there and Yeah, I probably won't bring my camera with me because I still feel a little self-conscious about Bringing my camera to like public events like that especially when there's like lots of like people selling their goods and I know that a lot of vendors don't like it when people like take photos or videos of their products because you know counterfeit is a real thing so um i don't want to give them that kind of anxiety or anything like that so i'm just gonna leave my camera at home here and then i'll return back and we'll see what we're doing for the rest of the night i might just combine this into a video for like a few days at a time um, yeah, I'm very last minute at things when I decide things to upload on my channel and also through stories So, uh, forgive me for this, but I think I made a decision already through this video. Thanks for helping me Um, uh, yeah, so we're gonna head to the expo right now and then we'll probably grab something to eat Um, yeah, and it's snowing outside. It really is like, there's so much snow Hello, hello, I am back it is almost 10 o'clock right now um after the holiday expo we actually decided to go to um oh wait before the holiday expo we actually went to madison 1212 to go get some nachos and some brunch and then um we then went to the holiday expo and we actually spent a much longer time there we were only planning to spend like 30 minutes to an hour there but we actually ended up spending like almost two hours there um, there's actually a lot of cool things, um, there that we didn't really find last year. There's not a lot of board games and that kind of stuff, so that was a little bit disappointing, but look what I got. I got this Moonstick necklace from Sailor Moon. It was only $10, and I love how it comes with this, like, kind of glossy plastic chain because I'm allergic to stuff like this and like fake gold. Um, so my neck gets super sensitive and red. I'm very excited to wear this. At first I was very hesitant to grab it, but then I like walked around the booths and stuff like that for a little bit and then I came back to it because I'm like, oh, I really want to get something. Um, the reason why I was hesitant is because of the long stick portion of the moon stick. Um, I've never had like a necklace that went like that super long before. Um, they also had a, uh, a uh, charm bracelet with a bunch of like Sailor Moon like trinkets on there. So they had like, um, you know, the uh, they had like Luna on there, they had like the hearts, they had like all the different kind of like scepters and all that kind of stuff on it. But it was a very like chunky kind of bracelet, so I decided not to get it because I have very small wrists. And even though they offered to um, adjust the bracelet right there and then for you. Uh, it still would have been really chunky on me, so I decided to just go ahead with this and I think it would look really cute So hopefully the chain's not too long and it like I'm trying to like balance it here, but um, Yeah, like I think it'll look really really nice with like a pink top or something like that or like a dark top too So I'm really happy that I got this. Um, I know that there's other variations of this kind of necklace out there online but honestly those cost like probably twenty dollars and plus shipping and shipping could be like thirty dollars to Canada so I'm really glad that I was able to pick this up at that vendor um yeah and then my boyfriend actually got a music box and it's quite funny because it was a Legend of Zelda music box I'll have to show you guys um so it's this music box right there and it's like, it's really beautiful. It's $20. Um, 
um, so yeah, and look, like, it comes, you pop it up, and it says The Legend of Zelda, right? And then there's the little muse box in there. Um, but when you play it, like, listen. Oh, I can't play it. Like, you hear that last bit of notes there? It kind of sounds like Game of Thrones, which they did have a Game of Thrones music box. So it kind of confused us. Like, when we started turning it at first, it just sounded like Game of Thrones. But then we realized that sometimes the notes can be a little off and it just, like, kind of cuts off the song. Um, so, yeah. But uh, it's pretty cute. It's pretty neat. It comes in this little box. We are kind of thinking, like, what if we had a whole bunch of these and, like, stack them and, like, we had to, like, turn this and like guess the tune like that would be a really cool game to play so yeah very very cute little music box and got quite a bit of a haul so i'm trying the necklace on now and look it looks so cute like just even in my pajamas it looks cute like i really like it and it's actually not too long like it's really really adjustable so cute Good morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Um, so yeah, I did have a lot of content to film uh, for yesterday's Vlogmas because I was working um, and then we went to go see Bohemian Rhapsody actually and that was a really good film. Um, great way to end off the night and we just chillaxed at home afterwards and then went to bed. Um, so yeah, right now it's about 1040 and I am just going, I'm just working right now. Um, but, um, uh, before I need to get started on like the tough work, I am just going to prepare my breakfast and eat my breakfast. So let's go do that right now. Go grab a tiny bowl. And then I just bought some granola. This is one of my favorite granolas. It was on sale for like $4.99 at Safeway. Um, it's just the five grain granola and the cranberry almond mix. And the reason why I get this is because I really like cranberries and also because it has uh, a lot of protein. Uh, yeah, why would you focus please? It has seven grams of protein there. So yeah, and that's what I need with my new like meal plan thing. I've also got some yogurt in here. It's just Greek yogurt from Oikos. Okay. That's the advent calendar for today. Number three. It's so hard to open this with one hand. So it looks like we got uh, salted chocolate today. Yum, yum, yum. And there's a door that I broke because it was too hard to open. It's too fancy. We're trying out to Good Food, which is one of those like delivery services. And this is the goat cheese risotto. Um, sorry, I meant to say that it's one of those delivery services where they bring like all the ingredients and the recipe to your door and then you cook it by yourself. So we're gonna dig in. It looks really good. I love risotto so much. Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. So I haven't had time to edit uh, the, this series of Vlogmas videos. Um, so I'm actually going to take some time tonight because I'm off tomorrow and Friday um, to edit this video and then post it up so that I can have other videos released on my channels. So yeah, um, right now it's just my break time so I'm just kind of prepping some snacks to eat for the day. Um, and yeah. That's about it. It's too cold to go outside for a walk, so I'm just looking out at the, the brightness while I can. A snack for the afternoon is going to be some spicy habanero cheese, and then I've also got some sliced apples here, and I'm just actually having spring rolls tonight. Yay!